So for the last couple weeks, I've been trying to test some directional antennas to see which one works better than the other, and if so, why. This has not worked out, unfortunately, this test, just because of the way the Helium network runs. And what I mean by that is a number of these hotspots went down for a variety of reasons. One got unplugged, and when it was plugged back in, it simply uh, went, well, was off the blockchain by quite a bit, by at least 4,000 blocks. Um, another one, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that for whatever reason, the SD card stopped working. Um, it was giving me some fault errors when I tried to reformat it, so I had to get a new SD card for it. Uh, there's just been a number of issues. And even then, I decided at one point to switch around uh, the different um, Helium Hotspot miners. Now, these are all uh, using Gold Spot minted miners as test subjects. Uh, but it seems like some of them just make more money than others. And I don't have a reason why. They're all a part of the same wallet. Um, I have no idea why one might make more than another, but point being is that they seem to. I just switched them to use a different antenna, and um, yeah, the other antenna just did better uh, because that hotspot was connected to it. At least that was my take on it. Uh, so there's been a number of different weird situations, and also whenever a miner goes down, it seems to take a couple days before it uh, starts making a I'm going to say a normal amount of HNT. It takes a while before it starts uh, getting or witnessing the beacons that I expected to. So this whole process has been very difficult. And I want to preface all of this by also saying not all of you even need a directional antenna. I know some people who have purchased them thinking it was a good idea, and then they bought an omnidirectional and they made way more money right away. They figured, oh, the city was pointed that way, so that's where they should point their antenna, and then they got an omnidirectional, and they realized, wow, there's a lot of hotspots around me that I can uh, witness and make way more HNT. So all that said, generally speaking, I always recommend this, uh, trying to get it in the whole frame, <laughs> uh, this Rack Wireless 8 DBI omnidirectional antenna. Uh, it's always been my best bet. And let's be honest, if I'm going to do anything, even before I decide to use a directional antenna, I usually put this in first. And the reason I do is because it can then tell me what's around me. And if I know that there's a specific area that is going to make me more money, then certainly maybe I get a directional antenna and direct it towards that. But if there are plenty of hotspots all around me, why not use an omnidirectional? So for anybody... I always recommend getting a ATBI omnidirectional rack wireless antenna, putting it as high up as you can. I'm on the second floor right here, uh, but the one that always does the best has been in my attic. Uh, so put it as high up as you can with the least amount of obstructions. In other words, right now here I'm dealing with glass. Uh, in the attic, I'm dealing with a roof, and certainly I could put it outside, but that brings up other obstacles and also, instead of thinking about obstacles, now I'm dealing with how much reduction in terms of DBM would I be getting from cabling. Okay, with all of that said, uh, let's get back down to my computer and we'll talk about how well these antennas did. Okay, so for all the antennas involved, the three that you saw, I'm using this uh, one link more connection because I just didn't want to have cabling to have to work with and reduce the uh, DBM by even more. So I just used these connectors and you get two for $649. So, you know, it was a pretty good deal. Of course, all the links will be in uh, the description below, but I just wanted to show these because people were asking how I connected them. Now, the WeBoost is the longest one and it's at the bottom and it actually this one did the worst now keep in mind that all of these are around a eight to nine dbi antenna when in that 900 megahertz band and uh, this one as uh, you see is uh, 
about uh, 60 degree by 60 degrees uh, for uh, uh, vertical and horizontal. And it cost about $52.66. And what it was giving me on average was exactly what I got today, which is around a 0 0.31, 0.32. Um, it just wasn't doing uh, as good, which honestly, these are very slight variances when I talk about this on a difference of maybe 0 0.1. But like I said, this was giving me maybe 0 0.31, 0 0.32. And, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend this antenna, the Wii Boost, just didn't really work out as well. The one I definitely would recommend based on the testing was this ZD Tech antenna. Now it is only $23.16, so it is cheap. And for something cheap, uh, here I was getting uh, 0.36. So like I said, not a huge variance from uh, the Wii Boost, but still, uh, you know, we're looking at 0.31 at this very moment versus a 0.368, and most people would prefer the higher using a cheaper antenna. So I definitely recommend this more. Now this was interesting. Uh, Happy Raspberry Worm, uh, this particular uh, hotspot, for six days it did not beacon. And this really bothers me, especially because people have voted in HIP40, which is concerning in and of itself, but point being is, we're supposed to beacon, what, four times a day? And this didn't beacon for six to seven days, so I was at zero for a while. So I don't know if that affected things or didn't affect things. But like I said, on average, this is about accurate, 0.368. Uh, so it it's doing pretty good. Now, the last antenna I had, which is the longer version of that uh, ZD Tech, is the Premier Tech here. And the Premier Tech... As you can see, it's it's more expensive. It's almost well, it's uh, yeah, it's it's about double, right? Fifty two dollars and eighty cents, and that being the case, it's it's doing better, point three eight, but very slightly. And that being said, I switched uh, this antenna. Or rather, this hotspot with this hotspot. We switched them back and forth just to see what was happening and also because of the witness issue. And uh, whichever antenna I used did better when I connected uh, Shaggy Iris Possum to it. Which really concerns me because it suggests that for whatever reason, some hotspots may just do better. Now I've seen this, for example, uh, with my Synchro Bit. Synchro Bit just doesn't seem to do as well as any of the racks. And I thought that might be some sort of uh, priority to helium hotspots and rack hotspots, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and that's a bigger concern to me. We just don't know what's happening in the box. You know, there could be a lot of stuff going on and we just don't know because helium doesn't tell us. So that's an issue in and of itself. But if I was gonna pick uh, an antenna, I would rather go with a $23.16 antenna than the $52.80 antenna, just because of the price and the fact that, you know, even though we're seeing a slight difference here, which just that slight difference uh, per day is negligible in my opinion, but the fact is when I hooked up uh, Shaggy Iris Possum to the ZD Tech, the ZD Tech then made more money than uh, the Premier Tech. So yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd rather pay uh, $23.16. Okay, now all of that said, I've had this antenna from Elcom which is not just that $89.46. It even says down here there might be a surcharge of $13.42 added, as well as it's probably at least $10 for shipping. So you're looking, 
you're looking at somewhere way over a hundred dollars, maybe somewhere between 110 to 120 dollars uh, in order to buy this. But that said, I've hooked it up to my main antenna in my house, long marmalade shrimp, for months now. And as you can see, I get so many beacons and a good amount of witnesses here. And on average, it makes pretty good money. Now, it's been down once in a while, as you can see. And I have so many complaints about when we have updates and something then goes offline and it comes online. And uh, I have another antenna I've got to go deal with tonight that's been having problems for four days now. But point being is this antenna has done standardly well. Now, it is in my attic, which means it's about, I'm going to say, two meters higher up. And I don't know if that makes the difference to be that uh, 0.57 earnings. If you look over the last seven days, 0 0.57, 0 0.54. Uh, here's the, it went low, 0 0.378. Then again, back to the fives, 0.514, down to 0 0.409 back up to 0.59, almost at 6, and then here 0.48. So it does struggle, but it hits around that 0.5 fairly often, enough that it would give pause for people to say, hey, maybe this is the right antenna. But the thing is, to me, as I've mentioned before, it seems like it takes a while, and then your antenna might lock into... Well, I'm just going to say a standard amount of earnings, it seems like. So like I said, with uh, Shaggy Iris Possum, it, it seemed to just do better than Happy Raspberry Worm. And obviously, Long Marmalade Shrimp does very well. I take it down, but it is, it is the one that I have set up for my house, and I don't want to mess with it. It is using port 44158, where the other ones are using all the... Uh, consecutive ports after that, uh, 44159, 44160, 44161. So I just, I don't want to mess with this one. But this is why I said there's so many details that we just don't understand in how helium operates. Who knows? And all of this being said, going back right now to uh, what um, these three uh, antennas are doing, Quite frankly, the omnidirectional antennas that were set outside did a little better. Now, keep in mind, like I said, everything is directed downtown. So really, uh, whether it's omnidirectional versus directional for me doesn't make a difference. Maybe being outside made the difference. That's why the omnidirectionals were doing better. I don't know. And... At the end of the day, that's all I want to tell you. There are so many variables, who knows? And this is why, like I said at the beginning, your best bet is to start with a 8 dBi rack wireless omnidirectional antenna. I have it in the description. Uh, I, I just say buy that one. And if you think a directional one might be better, maybe. Try it out. I mean, to be quite honest, uh, that 8 dBi... Uh, for me in the attic, because of where all of my uh, where all my witnessing is going on is all downtown, just made more sense and does seem to be making more money using this antenna right here. Which again, I will place this antenna in the description. So thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. You know, at the end of the day, I, it could work for you maybe directional will work but just looking at a map either being hotspotty or explorer.helium.com you don't know really where you're going to hit you don't know how far away it's going to be and so starting with the best omnidirectional and then making a decision based off of that is the best way to go and that's always why i recommend it all right thank you for watching everybody and have a great day and don't forget to like and subscribe. I got to say that, right? Because I really need more subscribers. Got to change the name of this channel. Yes. Got to do it this month. Take care.